Rubber duckies are really cool, but they cost 45 freaking dollars. So I want to do a video on this thing. It does pretty much everything a rubber ducky can do, but for just three dollars, or that's two pounds fifty for me. It's an Arduino Pro Micro, which has the 80 mega 32U4 chip, which means it can do human interface device spoofing, i.e. pretend to be a keyboard, exactly like the rubber ducky does. So I've got a full-sized USB port attached, as it only comes with a micro USB port attached to it. It's about the same size as a large USB stick, however, you could get one of these without the headers and cut down the excess wiring ahead underneath, so that would make it a lot more compact. It's really easy to program. It uses exactly the same rubber ducky scripts that ducky uses, so there's no programming knowledge needed whatsoever. So before I get into showing you how to program it, how to use it, I'll show you that it does actually work. On this one, I've got a reverse shell script installed. So I'll plug it into my computer and we'll see what happens. So if we just give it a second to execute, there you go, it will run the script, execute it, and I've got reverse shell on my laptop in less than two seconds. So let's see how we can program it. In order to program your Arduino, you're going to need the Arduino IDE. So if you Google search Arduino, uh, you'll be sent to their website, just go to the download section and download the Windows installer and just run that, go through that, and it's pretty easy, can't go wrong. So secondly, we're going to be using Dequino.js, which is an open source project. What it does is it will convert the Ducky code into codes that the Arduino itself can understand. So this is the GitHub page for it, but if we just go to satonic.com, which is my website, I've got a version of it running up here, so you can use it here. Satonic.com, then just go to resources and Ducky scripts converter. And now you can put any Ducky code in here, press compile, and it will convert it into codes which you can just paste into the Arduino IDE and install it into your Arduino. So let's try. It's good practice to put a delay before you start your codes because it can take a second for the computer to recognize the USB device. So let's delay 400 milliseconds and then just um, string, let's say, remember to like comment and subscribe. All right, so now we can just press compile and it will spit out a load of code here. So you don't need to understand it, but if you do, that's great. Copy that and we can paste it into our Arduino IDE. So if I open up a new document here and I'll paste this in. And one thing, and I'll need to plug in the um, Arduino Pro Micro but one thing you have to remember is when you plug it in, in order to program it, it will run whatever is on the Arduino on your computer. So right now I've got a reverse shell on it. So when I plug this in, it's going to run a reverse shell, which is a bit annoying, but you just have to kind of click off it quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's run that. Anyway. So now that's plugged in, we can just go to tools, just make sure the settings are correct. Arduino Leonardo uh, content. Yep. And upload. I need to save it before I can upload it. So we just put some random in. Save and it will upload. Give a second and there you go. And it will just run automatically uh, once it's uploaded. So you might need to remember to pull out the USB device as soon as it's uploaded in case you got sync really bad on there. Pretty much any ducky script should work on this. So if you just search for rubber ducky scripts, you'll find a load of ones that you can use pretty easily. Um, the only downside of using a Pro Micro to do something like this is that the memory space is quite limited. So if you're trying to use a really long ducky script, then it's probably not going to work. However, I haven't come across any problems so far. Um, oh yeah. Uh, if you want to see how to do that reverse shell I showed at the beginning of this video and take control of someone's computer, I'll probably have a video up on that by now, so just check the description for that. So this has been my first ever YouTube video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, just leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Other than that, remember to like, comment and subscribe for more hacking videos which will be up very soon, so stay tuned for those.